Oral cancer, which includes cancer of the lips, tongue, oral cavity, floor of the mouth, hard and soft palate, can be life-threatening if it is not detected at an early stage and treated. The most common signs and symptoms include visible swellings, red and white patches, difficulties in chewing or swallowing, and unexplained bleeding. And men are considered to be at a higher risk when compared to women because of the use of increased alcohol and tobacco. Screening should always begin with a complete and detailed history which includes social, familial and medical history. It should also document high-risk behaviours like tobacco chewing, heavy alcohol abuse, previous history of exposure to head and neck radiotherapy and a positive family history of head and neck cancer. Secondly, there should be a detailed physical examination which includes digital palpation of the head, neck, oral and pharyngeal regions. Currently, the most effective way to control oral cancer is by early detection and treatment. And a definitive diagnosis is always obtained by using a biopsy, which is obtained using a surgical scalpel, usually under local anesthesia. The biopsy could be incisional or excisional. An incisional biopsy is where a representative part of the lesion is removed, whereas an excisional biopsy is where the entire lesion along with a border of normal tissue is removed. This is then sent to the laboratory for the opinion of a pathologist. And even certain diagnostic imaging techniques like CT and MRI can be used to study the extent of the tumour and if there is any local or regional spread to assess the depth of invasion and the extent of lymphadenopathy. If you have any more concerns, kindly visit your nearest Humane Health Centre and we will assess your condition. If you have any questions, please type in the comments below or you can write to us at care at humanehealth.com. And kindly subscribe to Human Health's YouTube channel for more health related videos.